Hi, welcome to Sanjeev Kapoor Kazana. I'm Rupa here. Let's do one more coastal recipe which is from the Mangalore side and it's called as a Mangalorean fish curry. We are using surma here. So let's go ahead and look at the ingredients. We are using surma here. So we have some surma with done pieces done, fresh scraped coconut, finely chopped tomatoes, finely chopped onions, minced garlic, cumin seeds, fenugreek seeds or methi seeds, pepper powder, chilli powder, turmeric powder, salt to taste, coriander powder, curry leaves, tamarind pulp, oil for cooking. Okay, to begin with, let's season the fish, salt and turmeric, just rub it and keep it aside. Take a tempering pan, add little oil and you have to just roast the methi seeds and the cumin seeds. So add the methi seeds, cumin seeds. So let's grind together the roasted methi seeds and the cumin along with the coconut, little of the onion and the tamarind. Add water and grind it to a fine paste. It's ground to a fine paste. It's dark brown in color because we've added tamarind to it. Let's keep it aside. Take a shallow pan. Again add some oil. Once the oil goes hot, add the curry leaves. Once you start getting the aroma of it, add the minced garlic, saute till the garlic goes pink in color. The garlic has gone pink, add the onions and the tomatoes. Fry it on high flame till it all comes together. You can fry it say for about two minutes till it nicely comes together. Start adding the powdered masala, the coriander powder, the chilli powder and the pepper powder. Give it a mix. Lower the flame and add the ground masala. Stir in the masala for about 2 minutes till the oil starts separating and everything comes together. You can get all the flavours from the masala. Just lightly roast it. Once you can see the oil separating, add about a cup of water and let it come to a boil. The mixture of the masala is coming to a boil. Very slowly immerse the fish into it. Very delicately see that it starts cooking in the gravy. Once it starts boiling, lower the flame and let it cook for about 4 to 5 minutes. The fish is cooking in the gravy for about 4 to 5 minutes. Let's take it for serving. It's done. The Mangalore fish curry is ready. It's smelling amazing. You can just serve it with steamed rice. Hi, I'm sure you like my cooking and my recipes. So please subscribe on the channel and stay connected with me. Happy cooking.